so welcome welcome and uh, this is a continuing series about 1000 seeds of joy uh, written by anand tarunesh ji and here the goddess themselves are like speaking to anand tarunesh ji we are say um, dialogues in his mind uh, it's also called channeling or the way he puts it that when he is overjoyed he communicates uh, with the goddess and here uh, in this uh, today's uh, section, in this section, we are uh, listening or we are hearing from uh, Lakshmi ji, or one of her avatar or incarnation is Sita ji. And what she has to speak about, say, uh, feminism, uh, will be uh, will be hearing from Anjali. And Anjali is like my dear friend. I call her boss, and she gets irritated, but she has had a uh, uh, you know, very great career, uh, MBA, HR, and many other degrees, which I'm not aware, but she was heading for, you know, very uh, a great position in an organization called Prabhau, and now she is a uh, founder uh, of Talk to Big Years, where I met her. And uh, she may be speaking about, maybe, or maybe not about Talk to Big Years, but today it's about the goddess energy. And I am so, so happy that she agreed to come here and tell us about this section. Thank you so much, Anjali, and over to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anu. You cannot imagine this has been uh, a revelation for me. I mean, I have heard of uh, people downloading information. I have heard of channeling uh, for to seek guidance. I have heard of people uh, downloading messages and all of that. But this experience to go through whatever has been written by Arunayji is really fascinating. Because I have been hearing and I have been reading a lot about the um, coming of age of the feminine energy. Something that has been locked up somewhere in the boxes and we are not giving it the due that it deserves. So uh, I'll just first of all start with this uh, uh, little, uh, you know, about the preface and about whatever they've written. And it was so exciting to understand that this book has been written by this gentleman who is actually, uh, he had communicated with the uh, uh, goddesses and those goddesses had sent him messages these messages um, okay these messages uh, have been put together in the form of this book the goddess Lakshmi and uh, our goddess Saraswati, Saraswati. have um, communicated um, with uh, the author that they have uh, actually had a conversation. So the gentleman, the author has asked questions to the uh, goddesses and they have actually answered in simple language that all of us can understand and gain from. So uh, I think the book is out there for everybody to read. And uh, Anu, with your permission, I will not go according to the question answer pattern is that okay because if anybody who wants to absolutely, read the book can read absolutely the book. absolutely absolutely uh -huh. please go ahead yeah. so i am going to just talk about this concept that i've understood and something that i've been thinking about since last night uh since i read all of this so here uh you know they are talking about this uh feminine energy and the masculine energy or hum sab ke andar chahe wo koi aadmi hai koi purush hai koi stri hai anybody we all have these two energies within us now what the society the patriarchal society has done is that they have put this into silos they have conditioned us in such a way that we have to be careful of so many things and we are not living according to our natural flow. We have been curbed, our energies have been curbed and uh, this of course uh, has happened over the centuries. All these books that were written earlier have actually been distorted. 
over the years as the society changes uh, the uh, patriarchal pattern set in pehle to matriarchal society hoti thi the feminine energy the goddesses was supreme and uh, it was a uh, given that everything flows from there but then certain um, changes within the society and the patriarchal uh, form of thinking flipped everything so they changed our epics also they changed our books they changed our history they changed our uh, all these ye jitne bhi granth hain they changed it to their benefit and uh, changing it to their benefit would also mean that they were trying to push an agenda and that agenda was to push the male child forward because there was so much energy in the female in the feminine side of uh, the being that the the uh, gentleman could not handle it so they had to put it in one little box so that uh, you know they could control it and they could use it according to their whims and fancies but now according to this book the time has come when the collective consciousness is getting that seed of joy and that seed of joy is going to be planted in various layers of consciousness which is going to come together and give us the primordial joy that they talk about which is going to change and transform this whole existence so we are on the verge of the coming of the feminine energy which is bursting at its seams now and it has very beautifully uh been explained by um uh, through the conversation of sita and the author where he has asked her that um you know all those things and all those problems that she went through with the uh, agni pariksha and with the abandonment in the forest with the children and all of that how far was it true and uh it came as a big surprise to me like i just uh, said that all of this has actually uh changed from the original script from the original story this is absolutely the opposite there was no agni pariksha it is very metaphorical that is because there was so much of energy again we come back to the concept of energy there was so much of energy and there was so much of transformation happening that uh, there was no other way for the patriarchal male to you know to either change that story to make everybody fearful of doing something like this so until and unless you don't have a, a bhayanak dand nobody listens and how are you going to make the whole society you know when you set rules like even if it's in a school or if it's in any any institution when you set rules uh, the concept of happiness and freedom is not there so the society has actually uh, been given the rules from these people over the centuries so there is no happiness and there is no freedom in the rules when there is no freedom and no happiness then the growth is going to be stunted and if the growth is stunted then it is going to be uh, again all the energies within are going to be locked up and sometime or the other it's going to burst out and when it bursts out it's not the best situation here she has also explained that uh, valmiki wrote that uh, book and then later he did come back to write uh, some more he wrote lots but there were times when he even forgot what had actually happened because he was in the human form though he was being guided by all the uh, rishis and all the angels above it was very difficult for him to get all the concepts again on paper so uh, when all of this was happening uh, again there was this fight when the when uh, uh jesus was crucified there were temples which were being broken down the whole concept was changing back then that is when uh, you know the downfall of the feminine energy started 
that is when the patriarchal society took its uh, birth and it went on to create so much of havoc that each one of us knows what has happened and another very interesting concept was that we talk about the earth as dharti mata but in those days earth was uh, not feminine it was the masculine energy the sun was the feminine energy the moon was the uh, masculine energy which was such a different concept than what we believe today because the all pervading is actually the feminine energy and from that comes the masculine energy so when you are thinking that is more masculine when you are feeling it is more feminine so it's like the concept of uh, uh you know like like uh, uh, motherhood so you are giving and the love is flowing and the protection and the rearing is flowing and flowing and flowing onto the child and the child is basking in that energy that energy we get from the sun so the sun is giving the earth that energy where we are basking and we are growing and we are flourishing in it so that is why the energy of the sun is supposed to be feminine and the moon stays at a distance does not do much just stays at a distance and is is there to balance out things and is there to overlook everything that is why it is the male the masculine energy like the father in a family so uh, it, this was a very very interesting concept in that conversation and along with that it is uh, if i can go through my notes because there were so many interesting things and i'm bubbling with all the information and the excitement sure that, sure uh, sure ab hum uh, tab tak hindi uh, jo sirf hindi samajhte hain unke liye uh, thoda sa sankshep mein bata do uh, ki uh, is wale jo uh, adhyay mein uh, jo abhi tak uh, anjali ji ne kaha hai wo ye kaha hai ki jo jo jaise granthon mein likha gaya और जो सीता माता की भूमिका चाहे वो अग्नि परीक्षा के हो वो बिल्कुल वो कुछ था ही नहीं इस किताब में ये कहा है कि देवी को ऐसा कुछ याद ही नहीं है और जो भी ग्रंथ थे या जो पितृ जो पेटीआर की है वो जो परंपरा थी वो कुछ सालों या 2000 सालों से या कुछ जो भी ढाई हजार सालों से आई है उससे पहले जो सूरज था वो एक स्त्री शक्ति के रूप में हम जानते थे और धरती को हम मतलब पुरुष या मैस्कुलिन की तरह जानते थे तो सभी कुछ उल्टा सा हो गया है और अब यह समय आया है कि वे माँ हमें अब इन ग्रंथों द्वारा ये नए जो किताबें लिखी जा रही हैं उसके द्वारा ये नई ऊर्जा के बारे में हमें समझाया जा रहा है तो बर्स्टिंग एट द बेस्ट Uh, exactly sorry anu uh, and you know here i would like to give you a very practical example that uh, when the women's liberation started nobody had really heard of it and everyone felt threatened by it that was the first sign of that collective feminine uh, getting together and changing the consciousness of the world so now what uh, the goddess is trying to inform us through this writing is that now is the time when that big transformation is going to take place where the uh, feminine the masculine the transgenders everybody is going to be equal and will be living in joy and bliss and happiness so that is the level that has to come which was prevalent centuries ago which was prevalent in that era that has to come now and the seeds have been sown for that now according to the goddess uh, sita mata had chosen her course like all of us have chosen our hamara sab karmic connection hota hai and before we take birth we all decide and we choose our path and we decide that these are the things that i am going to do when we come down and but we forget about it and uh, our life edges us and nudges us towards uh you know that whole path that we had decided for ourselves she said that i had decided all of this i wanted to experience complete loneliness 
I wanted to experience all those things that had happened to me when I was with Ram. Now with Ram, the connection she had was with all the chakras. This is also something very beautiful and very rare. I read in another book on Sita that the unison of Sita and Ram was at every level. And after that unison is when they realized who they really were and the kind of energy they had. With that energy, Ram got that strength to defeat Ravan. Because Ravan was no ordinary person. So to defeat Ravan and Ram was uh, also not there at that time, you know, mentally and physically. But after that unison, because they were all connected, they had a soul contract, Ram, Sita and Ravan. The three of them had a soul contract. Or uh, Ravan was not, um, uh, you know, seen as a bad person at that time. There was only that ego problem in him. But that is for another day. We are talking about the feminine energy. So uh, Sita had chosen that life for herself. She wanted to experience the loneliness. She wanted to rise from the lower chakras to the higher chakras. And she meditated and she stayed wherever she had to stay. And she overcame everything. That was the Agni Pariksha for her. Ram did not want to be separated from her. Ram did not ask Lakshman to take her away to the forest and leave her there and abandon the children and everything. Nothing like that. He never wanted to be away from her. So what she says is, this is a completely distorted version. This is not what happened. Ram was busy running the kingdom. He was there with his brothers. And she wanted to be in the forest with the children because she was trying to give them the best education. And during the meditations that she had with her children, she could teach them so much more. And she wanted them in, uh, to be in the forest and learn and be closer to nature. That's the reason she was over there. And she used to keep coming back to the kingdom. She used to keep coming back and Ram had never abandoned her. Contrary to the belief and contrary to the writings. That never happened. So we have been conditioned because we are always looking for approval. Why are we always looking for approval? We don't need anybody's approval. We have to start living from the heart chakra. The happiness, the joy, the transformation, everything lies at the heart chakra. So we don't have to look for anybody's approval. All the conditioning, all the rules, the regulations is to protect the patriarchal society. That's why the women are kept under wraps. But now is the time you can see it all across I was just sharing with Anu last night that, you know, when you go to the airport these days, you go to the station, you go out for lunch, you go out on the streets, you see groups of women more than groups of men. Because that collective energy has started happening. The Me Too revolution that happened also got all the women together. So all these, the lean in, the lean in concept of, uh, of uh, Susan uh, has also got everybody together, the Facebook uh, uh, CFO. So she, her, her movement also has got so many women together. So now the collective energy of the groups of women is what, which is going to transform this entire world. It is going to take it from where it is today. And we are going to reach the level of joy, bliss and happiness. Now, even after being battered for so many centuries, the women have very gracefully accepted the role that they need to now come out of this shadow and forget about approvals and start living a free life. So this also has been destined. This also has been stated by the goddess. That there is not going to be any anger or any animosity in changing roles. Now, every man has a feminine side and a masculine side. Every woman, again, has a masculine and a feminine side. But we've not been able to express ourselves creatively. Because sexually, for unisons, for everything, the, the uh, patriarchal society has closed us up. 
and it has very beautifully been expressed uh, in the question answers in the book and where goddess says that this is the reason why women during menopause face so many issues in the head and in the body in the body because they've not been able to express it but the women who've had an active life and they've been able to express themselves earlier they do not have so many problems you do not need hormones you do not need anything else so this is such a beautiful concept and this is something that uh, maybe 10 years ago we could not even think of discussing it but today thanks to this book we've been able to have a conversation on this and be able to understand and also nod we're all nodding because we've all been through that stage and we know exactly what they are talking about so this was destined to happen and now the feminine energy is raring to go and it is going to come out beautifully now they say she has also mentioned that for the people who've not been able to express themselves uh, this is the time when they get into meditations and they get into yoga etc which contains that energy and it opens the path for the kundalini for the for the snake energy to reach the higher levels and she has very beautifully explained how she was connected to ram at every chakra at every chakra they were connected and they did not need to have a conversation they were communicating through their thoughts and can you just imagine a world where we do not need a language we need only thoughts to communicate to each other and that is where we are all going and look at us we are all how many people here and all of them are women yeah look this is so beautiful and i it reiterates that whole thought process who is looking to go higher who is looking for ascension it is the feminine energy who is looking for ascension i don't want to be a sexist here but i might sound like one but the fact is uh, this is true when you want to have a conversation on spirituality uh, most of the men in the room are going to get up and walk out it's the women who want to hear from you acha fir kya hua and what do you think of this concept and this is the experience i had during my meditation this is the book i enjoyed reading and they share all this information so at the grassroots level we are all at the grass grassroots level but see how beautifully she has explained that all of this is going to happen it's such a super duper knock on our heads that we are all there in the right place at the right time and anuradha joshi kudos to you for getting all these people together and for starting this wonderful thing that you're doing god bless you god bless you and then from here she uh, talks about the ram charitramanas she talks about uh, you know valmiki ji coming down again uh, and taking another reincarnation because then he realized that this book had been uh, you know extra chapters were added even when that incident did not happen they've distorted it completely so he came down and he wrote the ram charitramanas and then he also wrote the yog vashisht which they say is the closest to what actually happened and it helped ram in his ascension ashtavartika also so all these wonderful books uh are a revelation anu again i can't thank you enough for this anyways then we go on to the next chapter uh this is chapter 9 where they talk about the wounded feminine and the wounded masculine energies ab sab wounded hi hoga na because we are not letting the masculine energy in us come out and the feminine energy has to behave in a particular way so we we have been put into these uh, conditions and into these silos and you know there is this bracket and this is what you are expected to do and this is how you are going to dress up and this is where you are going to go to usme kya hota hai we lose ourselves we don't even know the amount of power we have because we are being dictated all the time and what are we doing we are listening to the dictation that's exactly what we are doing is that what we are here for wake up shake up this is not what we are here for and you know that is the reason i feel because the women have a lesser 
feminine, lesser masculine, or maybe more of feminine, lesser masculine, and they're not letting it come out. And for the man also, the balance is not there. There is a larger masculine or a, you know, smaller feminine or a larger feminine and a smaller masculine. So it needs distortions hai that when they come together, they are all wounded souls. They are all wounded people. And they are only looking for band-aids. They are all looking for people who can plug their holes. They are all looking for people who can just help them through this whole process, but they are not complete in themselves. If they are not complete and content and at that level within themselves, all the relationships are also then going to be distorted. Completion ke liye rahe ho. Complete to tumhe apne ap andar hona hai. All of you have to be complete within yourselves. And then when two complete people come together, then they help each other in the ascension. That is the whole purpose of being here. But we are all trying to find that jigsaw puzzle and find out where and which part of us is missing and how can we plug this in and this relationship and that relationship. But the relationship with ourselves is so not complete. So the wounded feminine and the wounded masculine is something that has to be treated now. And the goddess says that this is where that... Uh, you know, we all now need to work and this is where we are moving. There's another thing uh, she said in that avatar of uh, Sita. She said that, you know, after I met Ram, after he killed Ravan, there was no communication. We did not talk because we were communicating through our thoughts. And at that time, we were so complete with ourselves and so with each other that she says, I could convert to anything. I had complete power. The elements were with me. I could have become water. I could have become anything I wanted to become. But there was more I wanted to do. There was more that I had written for myself in my destiny. So she wanted to experience more and they wanted to ascend further. That's why she went through that whole process and then she went to the forest and then she did all those other things. So in our hands, everything is in our hands. In our hands, everything is in our hands. We want to reach what kind of experiences, what kind of level we want to reach is up to us. We need to figure that out. So for that, we need to first heal that wounded part in ourselves. When we heal those two sections in ourselves, then we became, become a complete person. When we are a complete person, then we start looking for complete people. Damaged people are going to attract damaged people. So your minuses, nobody is going to come and put into a plus. And you cannot help really too many people with your pluses if they are not ready to take your pluses. So then again, it becomes like a you know, loggerhead. So, what now we need to understand is that that the uh, very beautifully she says, the duality of male and female is based on who sheds the seed and who nurtures it. But the association of the male with masculinity and the female with femininity is rooted only in thought, in your mind. And it is all the cultures that, uh, and the culture and the time, wherever we are today, it is going to define what we are and how everybody perceives us. 100 years ago, people would have perceived us differently. 100 years from now, people are going to perceive us differently. The cultures are going to change, the happenings are going to change, the requirements are going to change. We are all evolving. And we are at such a fantastic position today in this whole change and the whole transformation of the souls and the uh, transformation of the thought process and the new earth coming up. 
and what super guidance we've got. We are all blessed to be born here, I think. And we have access to such super duper downloads. Itni knowledge hai, itna gyan hai sab taraf. Hum, hum kya doon rahe hai? It's all there. It's the writing on the wall. And each and every woman is nurturing a family. And that family goes on to create more and take that learning to other places. This morning I was having a conversation with somebody and uh, this, this friend of mine, you know, she's also had these downloads and she's also writing a book on the yogini and lots is happening everywhere. Now there's so much of, uh, you know, information and so many downloads happening. So people having this conversation that, you know, a woman has been typecasted and has been put in this box and the dharam, the karam and the area that she's in charge of has been defined by the patriarchal society. Now the male member is different at home and is different outside. He can have a dual life but the woman is supposed to be there inside those four walls Look after everybody, look after everybody's health, khana, peena, saaf, safai, everything. But this wonderful woman, what has she done over the centuries? She has excelled at this role. She has excelled so much that within this, she has created that whole ascension for herself, within herself. When she's cleaning the house, She's cleaning the dirt from herself. When she is cooking, she is feeding the whole universe in her mindset. When she is loving, she is loving to the hilt that she can even cry when she is loving. There is so much of love within a uh, woman. So she has excelled in her role within that little premise. But now that energy is knocking into Everybody who is listening to this over here and many, 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 many more. That energy is knocking into our heads and hearts to please just come out. <laughs> when that whole energy is sitting inside the core of the earth also, it cannot contain it. So, dharti ka bhi to sina phatta hai aur usme se itni aag nikalti hai, itni heat nikalti hai that it can change the face of the earth. Each one of us, each and every woman has all that energy within themselves. It is so empowering to understand and to realize, Are, we can change the course of this earth. We can actually change the course of world, of life, of people and take it from wherever we are to somewhere else. And that transformation is waiting. It's waiting to happen and it is going to take us back to that matriarchal society which was present in that era that we've read about in all the golden books and the golden words. Lekin kab tak, kab tak chupa ki aur kab tak daba ki koi rak sakta hai? In fact, that is the time when the masculine in the women and the feminine in the man is all going to come out beautifully. And the transgenders and everybody is going to live in unison and peace and happiness and joy. Itna khoop surat ye vision inhone hamare ko dikhaya hai that it is, uh, it's been dancing in my head all this while. And uh, huh, so now this also. So this, this reiterates what I was talking about. So it says that like many wounded men, they have the women they are talking about. Like men, many wounded men, the women have also become aggressive, greedy, egotistical in order to not feel exploited and insecure. Women need to embrace their divine feminine and divine masculine sides instead of succumbing to their wounded masculine side 
in order to hide their wounded feminine side. Reigniting the fire and water elements will allow women to express themselves with more joy and love. So water and fire is going to help us express more love. Or the interesting thing is कि ये जो ability है ना ये सिर्फ हम में है so the goddess has given this ability only to the women and we are the ones who are going to change because that is what we owe we owe it to mother earth we owe it to all all of us we owe it to ourselves we owe it to our higher selves that if we are here at this time we need to change the narrative and this is not this is not women liberation or anything like that i'm not again being a sexist it's all about you know thinking that everybody is same agar hum kabhi kabhi us level pe pahunchte hain meditation mein when we are sitting in meditation when we realize that it is only this boundary that we have which is uh, a distinctive part and we call it ourselves we call it me myself i me myself but when we take a blank canvas we have to first draw the outline and then we fill it up with colors but that blank canvas is the same so we all have those same elements we are all the same uh, blank canvas humne apne aap ko shakal de diya aur hum bhagwan ne hamare ko thodi ego de diya now that ego keeps getting fed by the egoistic side of us that i have done this i will do this i am the greatest i have done a wonderful job i am feeling tired i am feeling hungry it doesn't work like that that's not what we are here for so the minute we shed that ego and the minute we realize that these chakras need to be in balance and we have to start using our thoughts and the ascension has to happen with this energy flow when the chakras are balanced and that's when the change is going to come that's when the transformation of this earth is going to come and each one of us has that responsibility shayad hum yahi dhoond rahe the aur hum isi ki wait kar rahe the ki this is this is what we were supposed to do and suddenly you feel so complete yes we are all complete and we are going to share all of this with people around us i also was not aware of it until i read this and the easiest would have been to just read these question answers to you and you know discuss if you would like to but read to sab log kar sakte hain na but my understanding and my thought process was to actually figure out what is happening today and what has been given to us in this book it is so similar and we are all moving in that one direction so wo jaise boond boond se sagar chalta hai boond boond se sagar bharta hai to hum sab wo ek ek boond hai lekin like this say boond mein samund aur samund mein boond it is all the same thing that drop has the same property as the ocean and the ocean has the same property as the drop there is a vast ocean within that one drop and in that ocean also there is a vast ocean so uh with this i think i have been able to in my own little humble uh, way been able to share whatever i understood and if i have made any mistake kuch bhi galat maine kara ho kaha ho mere ko please i am very sorry because this is a new terrain for me and uh, i've really enjoyed it and i hope i could do justice to it and thank you so much thank, thank you thank so you very much up, uh, if you could unmute uh, those who can so the, there are crackers in my place when you like start sort of you know uh, was giving the summary so clap for that you brought a new energy uh, to this aapne nayi urja hamare session mein la di hai और जिस तरह आपने बताया हमें इनक्रेडिबल सो आई लेट मंजू जी एंड अनुपूर्णा जी एनी बडी ऑल्सो संगीता जी शेयर व्हाट दे आई लाइक आई एम लाइक सो एक्साइटेड 
विथ योर तो बहुत ही एक्सेलेंट आपने उसको प्रेजेंट किया वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइसली लाइक यू नो इट्स रियली आपने हम लोग के सबके दिल की बात बोली है कि द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विच इज टेकिंग प्लेस एंड बट वन थिंग आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एड सी देर इज नो वुमेन हैज गॉट सच ए बिग हार्ट दैट शी कैन डू वंडर्स एंड शी कैन शी कैन tolerate lots <laughs> and expand herself she can uh, uh, convince everyone with her only by her feelings and by expressing her thoughts and uh, it's wonderful wonderfully you have depicted the lady uh, the character of lady and sita the way she has handled herself she has uh, explained everything why she came why she moved further everything is uh, uh, so beautifully uh, conveyed by you ma'am it's commendable very nice wonderful thank you manju ji thank you so much anjali it was really it was actually a eye opener and there are so many things which are in our heart and you have said it yeah it's like what you could only say it. you know correct it just resonates with every word which we think that's right thank you so much thanks i just thank you we don't recognize it and i love the metaphor of the uh, core of the earth which you connected to the women which is so true actually i think uh, speaking for myself at times we just don't realize it yeah. so much within and uh, boy hota that that masculine uh, thing that time becomes very overpowering yeah mm. so Do somewhere that. we get lost uh, in that you know yeah very beautifully put uh, really very much so a lot of food for thought yeah. a lot of food for thought and yeah. obviously very motivating very mm. <laughs> it needs another discussion <laughs> <laughs> wonderful it was yeah <laughs> really enjoyed it enjoyed anjali thank, thank you. you so much uh, i'm still in the bed in us so i couldn't connect i'm not uh, you know showing up on the video okay. but uh, thank you so much anjali because uh, this was like a uh, letting go of fear and embodying the love discovering self as yeah. well yeah So very beautifully put. Very very beautifully. But by and large, we are very strong women. They, there is no comparison uh, of uh, our strength. We are we ourselves don't know how much uh, potential we have because all these years we have been so much empowered by the men part. <laughs> 